Gather three of your favorite friends and get ready to save Tertium from chaos. Here is everything you need to know about Warhammer 40k Darktide. Warhammer 40k Darktide is a first-person co-op shooter with a gameplay similar to that of Warhammer Vermintide 2, developer Fat Shark's previous game. You play as one character in a squad of four, working together to survive a grueling campaign full of monsters and villains while completing objectives. However, unlike Vermintide 2, which was almost exclusively melee-focused, Darktide features what the developers have called hybrid combat and promises a more even split between ranged and melee attacks. Mixing the two kinds of combat together meant that Fat Shark had to think about how to add ranged enemies to scenarios without them feeling tacked on or unbalanced in various encounters. That meant creating a cover system that enemies could adhere to so soldiers aren't just standing around waiting for you to shoot them. Enemy soldiers are also designed to try to group together to create a unified front, whereas melee enemies are likely to come from all over the place. That means that soldiers feel like they're fighting you intelligently, while helping prevent the mix of melee and ranged combat from becoming so chaotic that it's confusing and unfun. Level design was also a major part of making Darktide's fights more fun without being unbalanced. Like in the Vermintide games, Darktide uses an AI director behind the scenes, which dictates where and when enemies show up to fight players, and what types of enemies those forces include. But that means the developers never know exactly what will happen in a given battle. In an interview with GameSpot, Fat Shark's head of design, Victor Magnuson, said we just have to make sure that throughout the missions, there are all these possibilities that could happen if the AI director system decides to adhere to it. Aside from a cover system, Darktide's more dynamic combat encounters led to the inclusion of sprinting, vaulting, advanced recoil, suppressive fire, and a regenerating shield called toughness that will only protect you if you stay close to your teammates. At launch, you'll have your pick of one of four classes. These include the veteran sharpshooter, a class that specializes in ranged combat. Sharpshooters start the game with a Cantrell Mark 7 LAS gun, as well as a standard issue shovel. This class is a good choice against elites and special enemies, has increased ammo capacity, and can slow their movement for increased weak spot damage, accuracy, and handling. The Psyker Psykinetic, a class that can manipulate Empyrean forces with their mind and use it to pop enemy skulls like balloons. However, Psykers are not just limited to their minds, they also get a stub revolver and a combat sword. The Zealot Preacher, a class that specializes in high damage melee attacks, damage that increases based on their missing health. The Preacher is effective against armored enemies, has high melee attack speed, and can dash forward for the upper hand in combat. This class starts out with a combat axe as well as an auto pistol. Lastly, there's the Ogren Skullbreaker, another melee focused class with increased damage in that category. They're good against hordes, effective at staggering and suppression, and can revive teammates faster. The Skullbreaker starts off the game with a pipe club and a thumper. Unlike Vermintide 2, these classes are not tied to specific pre-created heroes. In Darktide, you have the ability to make your own character from the ground up. You'll get to sculpt how your character looks by adjusting all the typical options like face shape, hairstyle, and eye color, but you'll also get to pick your backstory in order to shape your character's personality. Another difference from Vermintide is that levels and missions are no longer tied to one another, and different missions can now take place in the same location. Levels can also include optional side objectives that reward more loot. You'll mostly get random loot at the end of missions. But Fat Shark realized in Vermintide that randomness could be a pain for players who take on a mission over and over again, and can't seem to get the certain type of weapon that they want to drop. To help combat this, 
Darktide's hub area, which includes characters to talk to and a station to launch missions from, includes vendors where you can purchase specific types of weapons, just in case that chainsword is refusing to drop at the end of missions. You can also take on long-term contracts to earn yourself better weapons, fulfilling objectives to gather currency that you can then pay towards a piece of gear to eventually unlock it. Warhammer 40k Darktide takes place in the hive city of Tertium. Nurgle, the lord of plague, decay, and contagion has sent parasitic entities called Chaos into that city. You take control of a convict, also known as a reject, who has committed crimes against the emperor. Under direct orders from the Inquisition, you're tasked with freeing Tertium of its demons and heretics. The story was written by Dan Abnett an author who has written some of the biggest Warhammer 40k and Horus Heresy novels, as well as other universes like Marvel, DC, and Tomb Raider. Dan was also co-writer of 2014's Alien Isolation. According to the developer, Warhammer 40k Darktide will feature an evolving story that it hopes can stay fresh for returning players. Fat Shark seems to be aiming for a more dynamic live service-esque campaign that will continue over time. Also in an effort to keep the experience fresh, Darktide will include over 75,000 lines of voice dialogue that can mix up the experience depending on the situation, party composition, and other factors. Similar to Warhammer End Times Vermintide and Warhammer Vermintide 2, Darktide is being developed and published by Fat Shark. The company is located in Stockholm, Sweden, and has developed its own games as well as acted as a subcontractor for several others. Darktide was first announced in July of 2020 with plans for a 2021 release. However, due to difficulties during the COVID-19 pandemic, the game was delayed. Warhammer 40k Darktide will release on PC via Steam and the Microsoft Store on November 30th, 2022. The Xbox Series X and S version of the game does not have a release date at the time of this recording. However, developer Fat Shark stated that the Xbox version will launch shortly after the PC one. For those looking to buy the game on PC, you have two versions to choose from. There is a standard edition listed for $39.99 as well as an Imperial edition listed for $59.99. The Imperial Edition comes with a special in-game backpack, a Mortis Veteran Portrait Frame, 2500 Aquilas, the game's in-game currency, and the Loyalist Pack that contains 4 unique class outfits, 8 weapon skin patterns, 1 set of headgear, and a Ogryn body tattoo. Pre-ordering any version of the game will get you a special weapon trinket as well as a vanguard of the Aperium portrait frame. Warhammer 40k Darktide will also be available day one on Xbox Game Pass for PC. For guides, tips, tricks, and the review, make sure to check out GameSpot.com.